Now to the tragedy in Texas. Funerals begin today for the 19 children and two teachers who were killed in an elementary school. I'm Marie Jo Garza and Maite Rodriguez, both 10 years old, will be laid to rest. CBS 2's Lilia Luciano has the story of one of the teachers who died and whose sister spoke to CBS News. I wake up every morning and the first thing I do is cry because I know that it's real. For the family of Eva Mireles, the nightmare continues. Her sister Maggie now facing the most overwhelming of tasks, picking out the last dress she'll ever wear. That was the hardest thing that I've ever had to do in my life. Family members briefed by police say Eva and her co-teacher Irma Garcia both died shielding their children from a gunman who stormed into the classroom and opened fire, killing 19 of their students. I'm sure they didn't even think about what they were doing twice. They just did it. The dog lover, mother, and wife to a police officer was finishing her 17th year of teaching. She loved doing CrossFit, hiking, and bonding with her loved ones in nature. As the shooting unfolded, a family member texted Ava in a group chat asking if she was okay. There was no response. I never in my dreams thought that, that my sister was not going to make it. Maggie is now fighting for gun control. She told us she met Texas Governor Greg Abbott and urged him to tighten regulations. There's no reason why this type of weapon should be among us. Governor Abbott said that he would be working on laws to change these things, and I expect to see that. But in the meantime, Ava's family is trying to figure out how to navigate life without her. I want everybody to remember her and remember that she was a hero. Miss Mireles, as her students knew her, was 44 years old. Her body will be put to rest a week from Friday after the funerals of all of her students. We've learned that the Department of Justice has launched a critical review. That is not a criminal investigation. It's a process by which they learn lessons for the future. In order to understand exactly why did law enforcement wait 75 minutes before going into that classroom and stopping the shooter. Lilia Luciano, CBS News, Uvalde, Texas.